with Lee off for interference. Not even five minutes in as Sezikis is going to catch up to this puck first behind the net. The gap flows by McCarr, but Sezikis playing keep away. And Clutterbuck had it stripped by McCarr. Got away from McCarr. Pellick stepped up, couldn't get it. Into the zone, ranted it. Over for Johansson, and he scores. In transition, it's a power play goal. The changeup of a one-timer from Johansson got by Sorokin. He overplayed it. Well, not really. He just can't anticipate the guy's going to give you a knuckleball at that time. But Adam Pellick gets caught in the neutral zone. There's a backhand pass. And look at that. It's just it's just a floater, and Sorokin's there in plenty of time. McCarr starts the playoff, and then a beautiful pass by Rantanen on a backhander. But look at this. He just fans on it. His arm is outstretched, and it goes right between the blocker and the body. So... Tough break for Sorokin. First seven shots belong to Colorado, and now they're on their second power play. Just 23 seconds after the Johansson goal, and Nathan McKinnon had an open net and it wouldn't go. Ryan Polak, I think, got a stick on it and sent it across the goal mouth. He just continues to make plays like this. Well, he's going to have multiple saves of the year in the, in the National Hockey League, and there's one with the paddle. But I just... Just stays right with it. He's got driving behind the net. Nachuskin worked around ranted it across the ice off the stick of Pajot. Colton fights it out top for McKinnon. Over. Ranted it. Slips it in front. And the toe of Sorokin kept it out. It was, uh, looked like he was guessing a little bit. Guess right. And that's another one. Like, that's just unbelievable. As you said, he, he makes it look like it's just routine. Well, now it's starting to become routine, isn't it? Steal by Pajot, sent up top, here's Thompson with a blast and he scores! Cal Clutterbuck with a tip just outside the crease, and just like that we're tied at one. And that's just a huge goal for the Alders, I mean they needed. And a, a good little chip into the corner, Georgiev doesn't handle it very well, Pajot steals the puck, makes a good cross-ice pass, and Holmstrom's in front, and look where the stick is for Clutterbuck, perfect position. What a great look at that, and as a defenseman, my first look was always to the side of the net, you're not... This one given up at the line, Taves came off the bench and misfired on a pass. On a... Working its way to Rampton, and then McCarr came in, overskated the puck. Comes out in the neutral zone while the Islanders make a change, McCarr back in as Rantanen came out, and the backhands one home! Off to check the entry as Rantanen was on his way out of the zone while McCarr was coming in. But that's the Kale McCarr show. It's 2-1 Colorado. He has such a turn of speed. Let's see if that was offside or not. No, it doesn't look like it. Huh? Or maybe at the bottom right too, Brendan. I'm sure the Islanders are checking it. No, nope, I guess they're not going to bother with it. Take another look here. That's close, huh? That's close, yeah. Islanders start Pajot, Clutterbuck, and Holmstrom with Dobson and Pellick. This is the Islander line that produced their goal for the first period, and they're matched up against McKinnon. Palmieri around towards Barzell. Nelson's all the way across. Barzell working high for Dobson. Returned it. Barzell, Palmieri, goal line, step, shoot, scores! Well, you can see Barzell down low, takes a little look. Now watch the shift of the players. As eventually, Paul Murray, number 21, is going to come down low. Horvat to the far side, and that's maybe just enough of a distraction. One of the big triggers for every single penalty kill is if the guy doesn't have possession. And now it's Pajot and Holmstrom up ice. Holmstrom left side, working on McCarr. To the net goes Pajot, and the stick of Georgiev forced that one away from the net. Now it's Clutterbuck to the front. Holmstrom scores! Simon Holmstrom and the Islanders have taken the lead. Uh, this is a tremendous play. It starts off with a pass from Clutterbuck up the middle to Pajot. Then Holmstrom takes a look. Good job there driving to the net by Pajot. But watch Holmstrom gets into the slot area, doesn't waste any time, and goes up in the toy department. So that line develops a little bit of chemistry. And Boy, oh boy, those are the things that the coaching staff are waiting to see on a constant basis from, from Holmstrom. Perhaps he's found his line mates. One shot on that for that two-minute power play for New York. Slipped on for Nachuskin. Down Nachuskin to Byram. 
Byram has space in the middle, and he scores! Bowen Byram blocker side on Sorokin, and it's 3-3 here late in the second. Yeah, there was a little bit of a mix-up in the D zone by the Islanders. Plenty of guys back, but a little confusion who should take Byram. Watch the Islanders as they're all back in this situation. Quick dump in, and here's where the problem starts. A little quick turnaround. Look at all the Islanders. They're all back, but who, who, who's going out there? Nobody knows who to go. Confusion in that scenario, and he gets too good an opportunity. And I'm not, and that money deflected off a, off a player in front. McKinnon was there, but that was a. So it would have been a long time since they had a comeback like that. This one wouldn't be as dramatic, but it would be their second comeback of the night after they fell behind. No linesman down there to even call it. That was interesting. No, they said it hit his stick, so okay. gave him the benefit of the doubt. Here's Lee, pulled it away from Johansson, strong on his skates, rinses the shot, and scores! Missed that one. Great effort by Anders Lee, though. I mean, he just refused to give up on the puck, kept his balance. He was kind of stumbling here and there. Georgiev just missed, Brendan. It's a good play off the wall, Thomas, to even get into this position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, it's puck protection first, right? That's his game, and for him, that's from downtown. That's long range, but he got a lot on that. Uh, Georgiev's going to want it back, no question. That's why I, I took physics and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm good with numbers and yeah. angles. The first thing I think of about you. <clears throat> There's a shot block at the line by Tatar, trying to turn on Pellick. Tatar overskated the puck, picked up his head, found Ranton in who scores. Miko Ranton gives Colorado back the lead after a great play by Tomas Tatar. And the avalanche, it was sort of won the puck, and uh, Adam Pellick's shot is blocked, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of danger right there. And then just a quick little two-on-one, and that's just a great shot, just a quick release right away. But great play by Tatar along the boards. And goes right underneath the pad of Sorokin. We saw Brock Nelson score one against Devin Levi. 115 left as Barzell looks over his options. Drags it into the crease with a sharp angled shot off the pass of Georgiev. Coming around again, it's Horvat. A pass flagged down by Rantanen. Flipped ahead. Horvat trying to catch him. Johansson will put it away. The Islanders came back and tied this game three different times, including once in the third period. The Islanders had some, some opportunities. They pulled the goaltender, Brennan, on many occasions. Nothing really happens tonight. Or that on the forehand. Came out of the pile, and it's Pajot who has the puck. Nelson moves it in a hurry, in too much of a hurry. This may be an own goal. Yeah, that's going in anyway. Oh, boy. Oh, somebody for Colorado will get credit for it. Brock Nelson was the last to touch it. And an empty netter Colton. makes it 7 4. It's like Colton's taking credit for it. It's a freebie on the stat sheet. Yep, absolutely. A plus also for the guys on the ice. And there's no way that anybody can catch that. An unsuccessful power play for the Islanders in the second period. And it really wound up being the difference in the game, despite the fact that the Islanders did come out and tie this score in the third period early on on the goal from Anders Lee. But Colorado improves to 6-0 and as they beat the Islanders 7-4 tonight.